In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about a laser level, the whys, the hows. Um, this is a pretty neat laser level, reasonably cheap. It's the Bosch GL100G. That last G is for green. Uh, green's actually really important only when you have uh, natural light sunlight. And since we typically work in windows, it's an abundance of natural light. So green works better than red. If you buy a red one, you'll notice that you'll have to wear a certain pair of sunglasses or whatever. Just bump it up the extra 50 bucks and get the green one. Um, this laser does actually do really neat things. It self levels. It will, when it's out of level, it'll sit there and blink at you. So it'll bink, bink, bink. It'll let you know it's not happy. It'll also let you know if the batteries are going low by doing the same thing by just having that, that blinky flashy. So you can see I've got two lasers here. I've got a vertical laser. I've also got a horizontal laser. Uh, both of these lasers are about an eighth of an inch thick. Being an eighth of an inch thick, um, it's not even within our standards. Our standards are within a sixteenth. But if you utilize it as top, center, and bottom, you'll dial it in within a thirty-second inch, and that's more than we could ever ask for in the way of J. Geiger standards. That being said, the head does wrap back about five degrees on this one. I found that the, De the uh, DeWalt one actually wraps back a little bit more than that, and it will allow you to get further back inside of a jam. There are two different stands for the laser, even though you can use it by itself, just setting it on a ladder or something of that nature. The tripod runs you about 60 to $70. Any tripod with a quarter 20 screw will work. And then um, there's also, Bosch makes a really nice telescoping pole that goes up to 12 feet. It's the BP350. The laser is used for, if I wanted to do a series of shades on a straight line, I know now that I'm perfectly level. Now don't forget if something's out of level, then it's gonna track to one side or the other and you really don't want that with an exposed shade. It'll telescope and have the shade all the way mashed up against one bracket or the other. Another typical use for the laser is if you had a series of shades on one wall and then a series of shades on another wall, you could run the laser almost 300 degrees around the entire room and you could draw the entire room at one time. Now, if the levels from one side to the other are slightly off, the designer, the homeowner, and the architect, the end user are all going to see that. So having the laser in one corner and shooting it into three walls is only going to make you a better installer. It is very important that you do use a level of some form. I've found that the laser levels are the best when working by yourself. And so far as reliability is concerned, this is going to be your best friend.